WM. It's 8.26. Adrian Goldberg on BBC WM 95.6. Your voice in the West Midlands. I'm sure you remember a little girl called Margot Martini, who we've talked about on BBC WM in recent years. Margot, who was from Essington near Wolverhampton, was diagnosed with leukaemia three years ago and sadly passed away a year afterwards. She was just two. Well, today, the charity set up in her memory, uh, Team Margot, is launching a national advertising campaign to encourage more people to become stem cell donors. Let's speak to Margot's dad, Yasser Martini. Yasser, good morning. Good morning. Uh, nice to speak to you, Yasser. Thank and you and uh, this is... Uh, an attempt to encourage people to become stem cell donors, and you're really pushing this out through the national media and everything today. Big, big launch. We are. We've got a really exciting day. Um, music has the ability to engage and motivate large numbers of people. And um, along the way, some students from Elstree University Technical College um, wrote a song inspired by Margot. And, uh, and so we've been, we've been working on that. We've recorded it. Um, uh, with, a, with a choir and the Royal Philharmonic Concert Orchestra and some professional musicians. And, um, and we launch it, we release it today um, on Spotify and on YouTube. Well, let's um, have a little listen to it. We've got it here, actually. Let's just have a listen to this. This is uh, uh, called Light the Way, sung by Grace Hines and Daniela Bernard. Can hear that being a, a big ballad. I can hear people belting that one out on the X Factor, Yasser. I'm doing it myself <laughs> all the time these days. <laughs> and uh, I suppose it's a way to get the message across. Isn't it, it? We spoke to a lady from Tamworth about three weeks ago on this show, and she was encouraged to donate her stem cells. She said it was like just giving a blood transfusion, but longer. It was a few hours. Um, right. But she ended up saving the life of a man she had never met and she didn't know. In the United States. I mean, that's, that's the payoff for it. it incredible. It's dividend. quite astonishing. You can do something as simple as that. The blood goes through a, a filter. They take out your stem cells. And nine times out of ten, that's all that's required. What we're asking people to do, and we want 1.1 million people nationally. So this has to become a national target, national interest campaign, to do something even more simple than give blood. Um, but it's just to sign up to be a potential stem cell donor. And all you need there is a cheek swab or a spit sample. Um, so teammargo.com is a signpost. We tell people where to go and how to do that. It's as simple as that. That's all we really want people to do. By all means, watch and listen to the song. It's a free to watch and listen. Um, the only ask we make is to please register as a potential stem cell donor and then encourage someone else to do the same thing. Just one more. Yes, sir. Really appreciate your time this morning. Thank you yes, so much. Yes, sir. Martini, uh, trying to wrestle some positivity out of the awful tragedy of losing his little girl, Margot, diagnosed with leukaemia three years ago and passed away a couple of years ago when she was just two. BBC WM, it's half eight. 